Hi there, and welcome back to Chemistry. My name is Jeremy Krug, and in this video, we're learning about equilibrium, reversible reactions, and how to work with equilibrium constants. If you're new to my channel, welcome, take a look around. I hope you like what you see. If you do, consider slamming that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. That helps out the channel quite a bit. And if you really want to learn chemistry, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss a thing. This is the place for all things honors chemistry and AP chemistry. Now, in the last video, we learned about some of the essentials of equilibrium and how to write an expression for an equilibrium constant like you see here products over reactants raised to the power of the coefficients. Now, let's try an example here. We have the same equation that we worked with in the last video, but this problem says in the production of ammonia, NH3, a mixture of N2 and H2 gases are allowed to react and reach equilibrium at 350 kelvins. At equilibrium, the concentration of NH3 gas is 1.98 molar, while N2 concentration equals 0.031 molar, and the H2 concentration is 0 0.010 molar. Calculate the equilibrium constant for this reaction at 350 kelvins. So what we have to do here is, first of all, we have to write that equilibrium constant expression like we did in the last video. Kc equals products over reactants raised to the power of the coefficient. So that's Kc equals NH3 quantity squared all over N2 times H2 quantity cubed. That cubed is because there's a 3 as our coefficient here. Well now we're trying to solve for Kc. Now NH3, the concentration of ammonia is 1.98. So I'm going to take that right out of the problem and plug that into my value here. Now N2 uh, is going to have a concentration of 0 0.031 molar, so I'll plug that into the expression. And the concentration of H2 is 0 0.010 molar. That, of course, has to be cubed. So I plug all this into the uh, expression, and now all I have to do is use my calculator and solve for this numerically. So when I punch that into my calculator, I find that the answer is about 1.3 times 10 to the 8th. So that is my equilibrium value, my equilibrium constant for this reaction, at least at this temperature. Now, a little detail is that equilibrium constants have no units. Now, the reason for this is a little bit beyond the scope of this course, but you just need to know that equilibrium constants have no units. They are unitless values. Now, let's do some practice with writing equilibrium constant expressions, Kc for each of these reactions. So once again, it's going to be products over reactants raised to the power of the coefficient. So let's try this equation right here. So once again, Kc equals, that's going to be the concentration of N2O times the concentration of NO2 all over the concentration of NO. And that has to be cubed because there's a 3 as our coefficient right there. So that is our equilibrium constant expression. Just as a reminder, equilibrium constant expressions are equations. Don't leave off the Kc equals part of it. Otherwise, that will be the wrong answer. Let's try this one. Looks like we have another uh, reaction where we have a hydrocarbon reacting with water to make another hydrocarbon and O2 gas. So once again, Kc equals the concentration of C2H6 quantity squared, because there's a 2 right there, times the concentration of O2, all over the concentration of C2H4, quantity squared, times the concentration of H2O, quantity squared. So once again, products over reactants raised to the power of the coefficients. Now in these equations right here, notice we have all gases. Uh, sometimes we're going to have reactions with solids and liquids. Well, the rule for this is to omit pure solids and liquids from equilibrium constant expressions because their concentrations don't really change and they don't affect equilibrium. So if we have this equation right here where we have a solid, we're going to leave out that solid. So our equilibrium constant expression is going to be Kc equals the concentration of CH4 all over the concentration of H2 squared. We just leave out the carbon because carbon is a solid and it's not going to have a concentration that changes. Here's another one. We have some solids in this expression as well. 
Once again, we're going to take Kc equals the concentration of Ag plus quantity squared all over the concentration of Zn2 plus ions. We leave out the solids. We leave out the Ag. We leave out the Zn solid because solids are not a part of the equilibrium constant expression and it's not a part of our equilibrium calculations. Hey, I hope you learned something about how to write equilibrium constant expressions and how to make these calculations. If you learned something, please consider slamming that thumbs up button. I'll see you in the next video where we'll do some more practice on calculating equilibrium constants and working with some of the algebra in these problems. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.